Is there a God? The urgency of change by J. Krishnamurti. Questionnaire. <clears throat> I really would like to know if there is God. If there isn't any life has no meaning. Not knowing God, man has invented him in a thousand beliefs and images. The division and the fear bred by the all beliefs have divided him from his fellow man. To escape the pain and the mischief of this division, he creates us more beliefs and the mounting misery and the confusion have engulfed him. Not knowing we believe, can I know God? I have asked this question of so many saints, both in India and here, and they have all emphasized belief. Belief and then you will know. Without belief, you can never know. What do you think? If belief necessary to find out, to learn is far more important than to know. Learning about belief is the end of belief. When the mind is free of belief, then it can look. It is belief or disbelief that binds, for disbelief and belief are the same. They are the opposite sides of the same coin. So we can completely put aside positive or negative belief. The believer and the non-believer are the same. When this actually taken place, then the question is, is there a God? Has quite a different meaning. The word God with all its tradition, its memory, its intellectual and sentimental connotations, all that is not God. The word is not the real. So can the mind be free of the word? I don't know what that means. The word is the tradition, the hope, the desire to find the absolute, the striving after the ultimate, the moving, the movement which gives vitality to existence. So the word itself to become the ultimate. Yet we can see that the world is not the thing. The mind is the world and the world is thought. And you are asking me to strip myself of the world? How can I do that? The world is the past. It is memory. The wife is the world and the house is the world. In the beginning was the world. Also the world is the means of communication, identification. Your name is not you and yet without your name I can't ask about you. And you are asking me if the mind can be free of the world? That is, can the mind be free of its own activity? In this case of the tree, the object is before your eyes. And the world refers to the tree by universal agreement. Now with the word God, there is nothing to which it refers. So each man can create its own image of that for which there is no reference. The theologians does it one way, the intellectual in another, and the believer and the non-believer in their own different ways. Hope generates this belief and then seeking. This hope is the outcome of despair, the despair of all we see around us in the world. From despair, hope is born. There are also two sides of the same coin. When there is no hope, there is hell, and this fear of hell gives us the vitality of hope. Then illusion begins, so the world has led us to the illusion and not to the God at all. God is the illusion which we worship, and the known believers create the illusion of another God which he worships. The states or the some utopia or some book which he thinks contains all the truth. So we are seek, asking you whether you can be free of the world with its illusion. I must meditate on this. If there is no illusion, what is left? Only what is. The what is is the most holy. If the what is is the most holy, then war is most holy. And hatred, disorder, pain, averses, plunder. Then we must not speak of any change at all. If what is is sacred, then every murderer and plunderer and exploiter can say, Don't teach me what I am doing is sacred. The very simplicity of that statement, what is, is the most sacred leads to great misunderstanding because we don't see the truth of it. If you see that what it is sacred, you do not murder, you do not make war, you do not hope, you do not exploit. Having done these things, you cannot claim immunity from a truth which you have violated. The white man who says so to the black writer, what is is sacred, do not interfere, do not burn, has not seen for if he had. The Negro would be sacred to him, and there would be no need to burn. So if each one of us sees the truth, there must be change. The seeing of the truth is change. At 
came here to find out if there is God and you have completely confused me. It came to ask if there is God. We said the world leads to illusion which we worship and for this illusion we destroy each other willingly. When there is no illusion, the what is is the most sacred. Now let's look at what actually is. At a given moment, the what is may be fear or utter despair or a fleeting joy. These things are constantly changing and also there is the observer who says, these things are change around me, but I have remained permanent. Is that a fact? Is that what really is? Is he not also changing, adding to the taking away from himself, modifying, adjusting himself, becoming or not becoming? So both the observer and the observed are constantly changing. What is, is change? That is a fact. 